So these are the rock lights fully installed on Drake's 2012 Chevy Silverado. So like you guys have seen in the intro shot, we are not working on the Tacoma today, although we will be doing the same mod to the Tacoma in the near future. No, today we're working on my man Drake here. He works for me at Fusion Sound Lighting. We're working on his uh, Chevy Silverado, what year? 2012. 2012 Chevy Silverado. We're installing rock lights from uh, Mike Tuning. Mike Tuning actually hit me up and they were like, yo Rick, you need some rock lights on your truck and uh, we want to send you both kits. So they have a version one kit and a version two kit. Now obviously the version two kit's gonna be going on all my truck. Stay tuned for that video. The version two kit is three times brighter than version one. So uh, we're gonna be installing version one on Drake's Chevy Silverado today and uh, we're gonna get into it. So we've never really done this. It's very plug and play from what we can see in the kit. We are gonna have to route some power wiring that is not included in kit one. Kit two that we'll be installing in, on my truck actually has like a wiring harness that runs to the battery, gives you a switch on the inside of the truck, and uh, it's a little bit more of a complete kit and has a lot more features. But on uh, this truck though, we're installing version one of the mic tuning rock light kit and it, there are eight lights. So there's two per wheel well. It's gonna be bright. So let's take a look at what we're gonna be doing or the actual product for the install. All right, so this right here is the mic tuning. Right there it is, mic tuning. This is their LED rock light kit. So this is the LED high power eight piece. You can control it with Android or Apple. And uh, this is this isn't included. That's, that's the extra power wire that we're gonna need to run from the battery. But this right here is the kit. So you have all the mounts for the actual lights themselves. They have both curved mounts. Not really sure what you would use those for. Maybe if you got like a bar or a bracket. And then they got flat mounts, which is what we're predominantly gonna be using on this install. These right here are the lights. These right here are the RGB lights. This is actually a all metal housing. Super high quality, like this feels premier in the hand, really nice. And each of these basically have their wire attached to them and this wire will run to the harness right here. So this right here is the mic tuning harness and right here are the two outs that have all eight of the connections that we're gonna be screwing together. And on the other end of the harness or the other end of the actual box itself, this is a plastic box, nothing special here. You just have a fuse with a power lead and a ground wire. So that's why we're gonna be using the extra wire to run to the fuse box and provide power. But we're gonna be mounting this underneath the truck in a location that allows us to reach for all these lights and we're gonna be mounting them underneath of the wheel wells. So uh, Drake's uh, under is a little bit dirty. We're mounting two underneath each wheel well. We will actually have to drill into the metal in the back. In the front though, we have plastic. So a lot easier in the front to drill right into the plastic and screw these in properly and run all the wiring to the battery. Looking at the kit, it's a very plug and play kit so it should be pretty easy to do other than running the power wire situation and drilling the holes and mounting the lights. So that's where we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started with uh, mounting up the lights underneath the back where the metal is and then we'll move to the front where the plastic is. So get started, enjoy some time lapse. Again, we'll go, I'll have a more detailed video when I do the second version on my kit. We're just kind of learning it as we go with the first version of the mic tuning rock kits so time lapse time boom All right, so wheel well number one is done. So mounted up right there, drilled a hole, ran the wire down and around the inner fender well. We'll eventually wire them up correctly down below. There they are, they bright. All right, so as you guys saw, the camera cut off there a little bit, but we have the next two mounted back here. Ready to go, very easy. If you guys didn't see, basically we're using a self-tapping bit right here, or a, a stage bit. I can't remember what the hell these are called right now. But basically, we're, we're using this tapered bit to drill in the hole for the wire to go through, and then I'm using a fine bit right here to drill the hole to put in our stainless steel screws. These are one inch, number six, stainless steel self-tapping screws. These don't come in the kit. The kit comes with bolts and washers, and if you could get on the back side of this and put a nut good luck with that these are these are a lot easier some stainless steel self tappers put some right in very easily so moving on to the front though where we have plastic gonna make things a lot easier the other lights are mounted so we got the uh, two inside of this fender well. It's uh, dirty as hell. 
but they're both mounted up here and the two are mounted on this fender well as well not sure how well the camera will pick it up had to get my flashlight but the other two are mounted up underneath here as well so all the lights are mounted they are routed underneath here um, let's go underneath and see what we got cooking so this side was pretty easy they're just round along the wiring loom you can kind of see the wiring right there maybe where it starts runs along the wiring loom we have the other side coming from there back sides over there we're gonna be mounting the box somewhere here in the center inside of this little rail because that's where all the cables are going to slide and connect and be together probably we're gonna try and run it over to this side but we'll see how long these cables are and Drake is finishing the last little bit of wiring on this side I'm gonna work on running our power wire next while Drake finishes this and we'll go from there. All right, we have finished the wiring completely, which means we can now turn on the truck and see the finished product. The headlights on. Oh my, it's on. It's already on. I was going to be like, "Look, it's on." There is the underglow. Get some strobe going. Oh my. Wow. And we ain't even in a dark spot. We got like street lamps and stuff around here. So I'm gonna take you into Underworld where basically there's a crap load of zip ties. Right here we find the actual box. This is what controls the whole entire thing. And basically right here we have all the wires coming in together right here. So they come from that direction and they also come up and over the back from that direction. And right there is the power wire coming in as well. It all hooks up in together and we utilize this little space in the frame to zip tie everything together and make it as clean as we possibly can. So a lot of zip ties and uh, a lot of work, but pretty pretty straightforward. So those are the lights, the mic tuning. This is the number one set, the first generation. There they are right there. I do want to keep you guys in mind that the ones I'm putting on mine, the second generation, apparently are at least three times brighter than these. And if you guys can see, these are quite bright. So these are the rock lights fully installed on Drake's 2012 Chevy Silverado. Drake's currently using the app. Here, let's let's get some footage of the app here. So this right here is the mic tuning app. It's the same one that I would use. And you got all kinds of controls, different colors. I'd show you the truck right now, but basically the truck's changing colors. But on the app, you can basically change it to whatever color you want. There's all kinds of program sure, sequences nice. and look at that. If his truck was cleaner, it'd look even better. Yeah, guys, these are the lights. They are incredibly bright, and uh, I'm really impressed. I'm excited to see what the other ones look like on my truck. So this whole entire process for both of us together, so you gotta remember, it's two people doing this, not just one person. It was about two and a half hours, so it is quite a time-consuming process to actually install these. Putting the lights in is not the hardest part. I would say wiring is the hardest part, because while I was installing all the lights, Drake was spending the whole entire time I was doing that, doing wire and then I spent even more time doing wiring after that with him so wiring is definitely the hardest and the longest part of this whole entire install but as far as like actually wiring it all together it's pretty plug and play other than having to run the power wire and crimping and soldering in the power wire correctly um, that was the hardest thing so the version 2 kit that I have though has the actual wiring harness so that you don't have to do that potentially. We'll see. But um, rock lights installed. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, the next version of this from Mike Tuning, where we're gonna put version two on my truck, I'm gonna do a complete like walkthrough install, a lot more detailed than what we did on this one. This one was just kind of us figuring it out and getting it done this evening. We started at like six o'clock, but daylight savings time, it's dark as hell. Drake is uh, one of the DJs that works for my company right there, Fusion Sound and Lighting. If you guys didn't know I have a whole DJ channel, Party Crew, Fusion Sound and Lighting. Uh, tell the people, what do you, what do you think right now? I'm digging it. Right now I'm trying to get it to match the interior. Oh yeah, so Drake has the LED glow kit on the inside as well. So there's the LED glow kit, the same one that I had on my 2018. So he's got the interior glow kit as well. That matches right there. Got the green with the green. That's, dude, if you pulled up and you like, bro, that's so clean. You can just see all the lights on white. Well, I was completely caught up in the moment and I forgot to film an outro for the video of me and Drake installing the rock lights on his truck. So this is me ending the video now. Installation was very time consuming, but was not challenging. It just took a long time to actually do all the wiring. Very simple to mount the lights and the results, they are really bright. Like I am so surprised. Drake's had them on his truck now for almost a week. No problems, no issues. So they're great, they're good to go. And we will be moving on to my truck here soon. And in front of me is my kit. So this is the stage two kit from uh, Mike Tuning, Mike Tuning right here. And these are my diodes. So these are six times as bright and my wheel wells are actually smaller than his, although we do have the same size tires. He just has 20 inch rims and I have 18 inch rims. But nonetheless, 
Super excited to get these on the truck. They are gonna be absolutely ridiculously bright and I'm so excited. So if you guys are excited, smash the like button, leave down in the comment section down below what do you guys think of these lights. Any of you guys rocking rock lights on your truck, your car, underglow, all that cool stuff. Any of you guys got it, leave it down in the comment section down below. I wanna hear from you guys. Like I've mentioned before, I'm on the grind to 10,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. I'm trying to hit it because I wanna buy a sports car. I want to buy a sports car. I want to get some dope content for you guys on a sports car that I have my eye on. I know exactly which one I'm buying. It will be stick shift. It will be a manual and it will have a nice, crisp, warm, naturally aspirated V8. So if you got to guess at what car I'm looking at buying, leave it down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe button, like the video, all that fun stuff. And like always, uh, well, not really like always, um, Taco Rick out. Peace.